What's up everyone? You're welcome to Commerce Light TV once again. If this is your first time, then Aquaba. Today we are going to talk about job opportunities in Qatar. Yes, there are so many job opportunities you should look out for in Qatar and all the GCC countries, the Kuwait, Bahrain, Oman, UAE, Saudi Arabia, and so on. So, I'm in Qatar right now, but they all operate with the same kind of system. So I know anything happening here is happening in Dubai or UAE and it's happening in Saudi Arabia. Straight to the job opportunities. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. The subscription button is below. Red, subscribe over there. Click on it, it will turn to gray or ash. You have subscribed, free of charge. So subscribe. And also, don't forget to like this video, comment and direct at the end of the video. If you see anything you want to say or whatever you need, any submission, you comment it at that. And also share with people you really care about. People need to watch this to know how to position their lives. Then also, my social media pages are there for you to like and follow. On Facebook, it's Kama Sly TV. On Instagram, it's at Kama underscore Sly underscore TV. On Twitter, TikTok, and Snapchat, it's at Kama underscore Sly. That's it. So go and follow me. See, there are so many kind of jobs in Qatar. If anybody says they are not getting any job at all to do in Qatar, like back in Africa, in Nigeria, uh, Sierra Leone, um, Ghana, Uganda, Kenya, like the way unemployment is very huge over there. That is not here. Unemployment rate in this country is zero. Yes, it's zero. Nobody can tell me they don't have work to do, like I said. You can say you are not getting your job, you are working, they've not you've applied for jobs, they've not called you yet for interview. Fine. But to say you are not getting anything at all to do. Africa sometimes just wants something to do to make something, but you are not getting even that. So that's it. Anybody who says they are not getting, the person is either lazy, is picky, choosy, or bossy. Hey, I like rhyming, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the person is either that kind of people, like they don't want to get their hands dirty to make it. Because everybody here, me, my story is something else to talk about because when you're not getting your job, I've done so many dirty jobs whilst I was waiting on my my profession, while, whilst I was waiting for interviews. And I was doing all dirty kind of jobs. Yeah, the people with degrees and masters and stuff, we're doing all sort of jobs just to survive because you need to pay your accommodation, rent, um, uh, whatever, food, to get transportation and so on before before you go to interview. You can't be calling home that send me money. But there are jobs you should be doing to get and be turning yourself around before you get your job. And even when you get your job and they don't pay you first month, you need to have something to live on. So there are so many of those minor, minor jobs you can do to survive. And so... Look, there are jobs here in the Gulf, in the Middle East, in GCC, there are jobs. Trust me, there are jobs. Some of those jobs, like you already know, the country I'm in is Qatar, and construction is going on because of the 2022 World Cup. Everywhere is under construction, everywhere. Even the leader of this country, the Emir, his, his own palace is under construction. If you think I'm lying, you know anybody in Qatar, ask. Airport is under construction, the harbor is under construction, Roads are under construction, stadiums are under construction, even though most of them have been completed, but they're under construction. The oil and gas field, so many, not just one, they are all under construction and projects are ongoing. And that is how it is in UAE, Oman, Bahrain, Saudi Arabia. That is how it is in all these GCC countries. I talked about in my previous video on how to come to Qatar. You can check up there, the link is there. So you, you watch that video as well and know how to come to Qatar. Now, the construction works you will get in this country. Now let's talk about the jobs. Let's go straight to the point and I'm not going to talk about my Nigeria or high position because those people are not the ones watching me. I know where I come from and I know what people are going through and I know what people want. I'm not talking about managers and big, 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 big time people, no. I'm talking about people like myself, people who want to rise, people who want to start from a humble beginning and rise. When we get to the managerial position one day, I will also talk about it because you only talk about what you know. So I'm talking about what I know. Pray for me and let me get to a manager position. Then I can do it. I can do that for you. I want to hear somebody say amen. Yes. Thank you for saying amen. So yes, that's it. So we talk about it. Construction work. 
Let me start not to undermine anybody, but let me start from Libra. When you are doing something, picking stuff for people, you are helping people here and there, you are a Libra, or you are here, they say helper, you are helping people. And that is something you make money for more than when you are in Africa. Because you are going to make money as a helper, you are helping people, you just go to construction site or oil and gas site, when welders are welding, you say, okay, give me electro, give me this, or, oh, you people, go and, go and pack this in and bring. And if anybody tells you job in Gulf countries are difficult, the person is a big liar. The person is a big liar because there are equipment and machines doing all the difficult works. Any job that they are calling human being to come and do, then it's something machine cannot do. Could you believe that in Africa, one person loads, um, how do we call this, uh, wheelbarrow and push, full and push, but here, one person does not push wheelbarrow. Two, three people are pushing wheelbarrow. If you think I'm lying, I have videos of that. I can even show you. Three people are pushing wheelbarrow. Two people are pushing wheelbarrow. Would you tell me this is a difficult job? No, that's a helper or a laborer doing that. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, he's going to be paid like hundred real, one hundred twenty real, one hundred thirty real. At the end of the month, like you should know. So, I mean, the jobs are not difficult. Yes, so that's it about helper. We have cleaners, people who are cleaning airports, people who are going to clean hotel rooms when the World Cup starts. You know when you are cleaning, cleaning hotel, you know, sometimes people tip you, people do all these airports, people are tipping, people are doing this. Like, those jobs are there. There are security people who are taking as huge as 2,000 to 3,000. They are taking all those things. Mason, carpenters, uh, steel fixers, um... Technician, they are taking 3,000, 4,000. They are taking that. Once you know something about construction, you know, and like looking at your age, you have experience, you have you are made a foreman or supervisor, and that's big. Those people are taking 5,000, 6,000 supervisors are taking those. Foremen are taking 5,000, 4,000, and all those things. That's for starters. So you see, and I'm talking about in real, not even in local currencies in Kenya, Uganda, Nigeria, Ghana, and all this, this area, convert it. Go on Google and convert 5,000, 3,000, or 2,000 into your local currency and see how much is it. That is huge. That is huge. I'm not forcing anybody to come here, but since you people want me to talk about it, people want to know the kind of jobs and all that I'm talking about, I'm getting all emotional, but it's weird. There are people in this country who don't know how to write their names. <laughs> I don't, I don't, like, yes. People don't know how to write their names, to write their own names. You ask them, like, not just Africans, even Indians, Sri Lanka, Pakistanis, like Jordan, Morocco, Egypt, people don't know how to write their names. If you ask them, they'll tell you, Mafi Malum, I don't know. Or Malum Neye. <laughs> like, they'll tell you all these kind of things. They are making it, they are making money because they have some skills or they, 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 they were willing to learn, even though they don't have any skills, they learned. Just like you go and do apprenticeship in Ghana, and you can do that apprenticeship without signing any agreement with anybody. Yes, you are following welders around, helping them, picking stuff for them. After two years contracts, you know how to work. You become a welder. They'll put you to the test. This country, that's one thing I like about it. It's a country of so many opportunities. They give you the opportunity. I can do it. You can do it. Okay, here is it. Do it. Let me see. Once you can do it, it is up to you. If you want to go and do documents back in it, then that's fine. There are so many things you can start from the basic. And like, let me talk about other things like driving. You are driving in Ghana. You have driver's license. If you come here, you do have course. You do have course. You don't need to go and start how to drive. There are people who don't know how to drive at all. They go to the driving school and learn how to drive. But once you know how to drive, bring your license. Okay, you already know. You have license from your country. You are doing half course. Then you pass your driving school. You start driving. Drivers, look at all these cars in the country. There are so many cars that will be driven during the World Cup. They are there. Buses, cars are there. They need drivers. Drivers are like what people are actually demanding right now. So that's about driving. We have other jobs like... Operators, people operating equipment, excavator, forklift, crane. Like, there are so many of those. So, you shouldn't be there. And these people, these operators are chopping money. 4,000, 5,000, 3,000. How much do you take in your local country for all this? 
So look, don't be there and let anybody deceive you. It's difficult out there. Like, is it easy in our countries? Is it easy in Africa? Where you suffer and don't earn anything? Yeah. Me, one thing I talk about is the only thing you lose is you miss home, you miss your wife and kids, and then you 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 are going to lose your 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 grammar, your English. Yes, because I'm talking to people who I want them to understand me. I'm I'm constantly having meetings with these people, and they need to understand me. I have to talk in their their tone for them to understand me. So if I want to be bossy and be speaking rattling grammar, at the end of the day, there's no communication. So I need to talk in a way and doing that every time, every day, every minute, then you are picking it. One, I'm out there on the job. You don't have the power to talk how you want it. So that's it. Let me just not go into personal stuff. But yeah, that's it. The only thing you lose in this country is you miss your families back home and then you lose your accent. And there are funny videos talking about how people express themselves over here. And Hello, sister. How are you doing? Me work, finish now. Yes, me coming work now, finish, yes. Okay, you finish or no finish? Yes, me finish. You coming, no coming, sister. My friend, coming, no coming. This man, I call me this man, for too much problem. You coming, no coming, you speak. No help net, no help number, too much problem, you. Yeah. You have to lose something to gain something, so there's nothing wrong with that. So yeah, that's about those jobs that you don't even really need certificate and stuff to do. They are there like that. For the ladies, they have short attendance. You want to be in supermarket malls. You want to be doing this. You want to be doing cleaning and all these big, big, they are huge malls over here. Not those we have in back home calling mall. Those are bakala here. They call those ones bakala. Yes, bakala is like shops, more small shops you can go and buy pepper or okra and all those. Yeah. There are huge malls over here you work and and and, and. so that's this for the ladies, those are your jobs and they are house helps like maids seven people who are cooking for these Arabs and all those things. Yes, they are there. People say they more treat them. Some people say I, I don't know, I can't talk about that because I've not been in any home like that before, but I've heard some of the stories. They're appalling though, but just like in our own African countries, that you go to a house, you are a maid servant in a house, maybe your madam is not good to you. It's like here. I've seen people who are doing TikTok with their madams and stuff, they're having fun traveling. Like when they are traveling to other countries, Europe, you go with them because maybe you're holding their kids, you're being... Yes, some are nanny. Yeah, that's another job, nanny, because Arabs move a lot, they like to have fun. So you'll be looking after their kids and taking care of their homes for them. Those are for the ladies. Those are all the secretary. Like, no, let me talk about jobs that they will ask for experience and all those things. And they really pay well. Those jobs pay well. Like, to be a nurse, if you're a nurse in Africa, how much are they paying you? A nurse, how much are they paying you? But here, a nurse is taking as much as 7,000 to 10,000 reals. That's reals. Convert it to Ghana cities. Convert it to Uganda money. Convert it to Kenya money. Convert it to Naira. And tell me how much that is. Nurses are taking that away, huge. Accountants are taking similar. You see, teachers are taking 8,500 to 15,000 teachers. Teachers, how much are teachers taking in Ghana? That's like their 10 months, 12 months salary people are taking in a month. And other allowances come with that. So you see, those are jobs over here they are paying. Health and safety officer like my field. I won't talk about that one because when I say right now, people will be calculating money for me, which I'm not even earning yet. I know I'm not earning. I'm, I'm just a starter. I'm not earning. I will not even talk about my own. But yeah, there are jobs over there that are paying really good. And there are jobs that you come here once you know how to speak English, once you know how to write, opportunities are there for you. You can write. You can speak English. Oh, you are going to be made a supervisor. You are going to make a leader of people. You come to oil and gas field, there are people who just write names of people who are entering a hole or confined space to do something. Hole watcher, fire watcher, your own is to be there and be monitoring people who are doing welding and support them. Once you can read and write, look, you have job in the Gulf country, not the GCC countries. So it's up to you. I have told you 
the choice is yours the ball is in your court so please subscribe to this channel i don't know what else i'll be talking about next but everything or anything i talk about it's your suggestion whatever you say that you talk about i will so subscribe click the bell icon over there so that when i post video you get notification and also go on all my social media pages on facebook is kama slide tv on instagram is at kama underscore slide underscore tv and on TikTok, Twitter, and Snapchat, it's at Kama underscore Sly. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.